As Thailand marks 58 days COVID-free within the general population and works to contain the Chinese-born virus as it's found in Thais arriving from overseas, the weekend saw several in quarantine failing tests. They were from Bahrain, the US and Egypt. It's planned to extend the grace period for non-Thais here until September the 26th, but with conditions. All non-Thais here currently without visas would, under the proposals, be allowed to remain until that date, but by then they need to have applied and paid for visas or extensions of stay. And those who don't must have left the country by then or face overstay fines and possible detention under the normal regulations. Plenty of time then to decide, but applying for a visa takes time, and applying this month is highly recommended. As we said, these are still just plans, though, and they have to be approved or amended by the Cabinet this week. The National Science and Technology Development Agency has released a one-step COVID-19 test that is said to be both easy to use and give results within 60 minutes. This is expected to be used on arrivals here and those in quarantine, while stocks will also be built up as a backup supply for a potential outbreak if that were to occur. Hailed as a first in speedy and accurate testing, kits may also be exported too, once national supply needs are met. A demonstration by students in the capital at the weekend was monitored and overseen by senior police, this to ensure that their rights to protest were endorsed, not perhaps their reason, and also that it was peaceful and observed the Covid conditions of distancing and masks. The Saturday evening event was set to take place at the Democracy Monument and organised by a group called Free Youth. Six years ago, global headlines covered the birth of twins here with a surrogate mother where the father, an Australian self-confessed and convicted pedophile, opted to take the healthy of the two children back home and abandoned the other who was born with Down syndrome. The tale of the remaining child, Gammy, led to the clampdown which continues today on surrogacy which had become a big business. Last week saw the announcement that the father had died. The child in Oz will remain with his wife. Here, although left in poverty without much hope, global fundraising saw the future of the second child brightened. Currently, he's in a nice home and attends school and is doing well. And a man who claimed to be a diplomat caused a row in the capital. He arrived from overseas and was refused entry into a condo building where he planned to stay. The row escalated as he was determined to get into the condo, but equally determined management at the Millennium Residence refused to allow him in, despite his anger, and pointed out that they were not a registered quarantine centre and, as such, were responsible for the health of their regular guests. Officials from the Thai Foreign Ministry arranged alternative and approved accommodation for the determined diplomat. Meanwhile at home, and despite Rayong being declared free of Covid after the Egyptian military debacle, bookings and beaches were quiet in the region. Rayong reported 80% hotel cancellations and Pattaya too some 30%. The cities were quiet, but it's expected to see those national tourists return soon, as the news of the region being clear is broadcast. Bars and clubs too were mostly quiet in the city centre, and many are choosing to allow self-employed staff who work hours to suit, but receive only commission and no basic salary to reduce overheads. Some do well, others, we're told, don't. But this, perhaps, is the future of the entertainment industry here as it struggles in the shadow of the chances that tourism might not return at all this year. Good news, perhaps, for the water company, as recent rains have seen waters flowing in the rivers again and supplies slowly reaching the local reservoirs. It's hoped that they may reach halfway decent levels soon and water supplies to homes return to normal. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 32 degrees, dropping down to 27 and a chance of stray storms at any time. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and of course to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.